Hi friends, I am Joel, YouTube blogger, and in this uh, video we are going to talk about Iya uh, Sipa Sivandi Aditanar. And the reason for uh, having this video is uh, 27 September 1905 was birthday of uh, Dr. Sipa Aditanar, and uh, Tamil Nadu celebrated his uh, 116th birthday. But he is no more. He uh, went to rest in peace on. Uh, 24th May 1981 and he is the founder of uh, the famous uh, Tamil magazine Dinathandi and he is also a great legend who contributed much to the Tamil Nadu society and Tamilans so that he was called to be the father of Tamilans because of the contribution he did on simplifying the language as well as taking the language in a simplified form to the common men through his newspaper apart from that he served as a politician as a minister and we will see in detail about that and on all mondays we are doing a personality review video like this so subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get a regular video update and uh, getting into the topic see bala subramaniam aditnar also known as sipa aditnar was born on 27th september 1905 and uh, he passed away on 24th may 1981 popularly known as aditan was a Indian lawyer, politician, minister of, uh, and founder of uh, Daily Times magazine, sorry, Dina Tandi, which is, I just translated that as well, <laughs> magazine, and uh, he was uh, uh, one of the core person who fought for the rights of Tamil, and he was uh, one of the main person who uh, who did lot of translation, like uh, the Tamil Nadu Assembly rules. were not on tamil on those days he translated that into a book and uh, also the method of reading a tirukkural which is one of the best poetry work uh, in tamil nadu by ulavar tiruvalluvar and this was globally this was used acknowledged as a book of life book of philosophy book of uh, management what not so that kind of a book was uh, a uh, tirukkural and uh, reading one kural 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 means it's one uh, stanza which will be a four lines and three lines reading one before the tamil nadu assembly starts was introduced by sipa aditnar so that's the kind of contribution he has done bringing in the great treasure to kural into the everyday life of common men and then if you look at the family background uh, everyone in tamil nadu will be knowing about supreme star sarath kumar and uh, he is related to sipa aditnar and also apart from that uh, shivnada of uh, hcl technology is a nephew of uh, sipa aditnar and that's his uh, mother uh, vama sundari devi was uh, sister of sipa aditnar okay so you know everyone all over the world knows about hcl technology right that's a kind of a royal background uh, sipa aditnar had and uh, his uh, father was also a lawyer and then he went for uh, he selected uh, st joseph's college which was uh, uh, run by the christian missionaries who did a lot of work for education in india and later now st joseph is administered by in tirchi is administered by church of south india and then when we talk about uh, his career he after finishing his ma he went to middle temple university in london and studied law there and then be, he became a barrister on 1933 and then he practiced law on from between 1933 and to 1942 in singapore and then he was got married uh, to govinda mall and uh, who is the daughter of uh, o ramasamy nadar who is a law who was a lawyer in singapore so then to talk about his uh, family his children are like uh, dr sivindi adithan who was a well known uh, philanthropist in the field of education in the south tamil nadu he runs about some seven colleges and uh, to talk about the way they are in charity uh, famous politician mr punradha krishnan of uh, tamil nadu of the ruling party bjp when he says about the charity mind of dr sivanjay aditya he says that what the these people write and gives won't be known through their left hand 
so that's the kind of uh, life they lived and uh, if you look at the bible when it talks about charity the same it emphasizes what you do with your right hand shouldn't be loaned to your left hand so that's a kind of uh, philanthropist mindset these people have apart from that uh, to talk more about uh, his achievements he mainly did a lot of achievements in the field of publishing starting with the madurai murasu which was the first magazine he started and then coming up to a daily magazine daily newspaper uh, called dinathandi you know, see here the main concept was uh, simplification of language when we talk about uh, you know the methods of mother tongue based language and all those people mainly think that these people are not uh, against development these people are uh, creating a you know diversification in society but uh, i am a supporter of uh, english education because i found that to be simple but still when you look at the need of a common man and uh, the lifestyle of all the people they will be somewhat knowledgeable in their mother tongue others it will be very difficult even if you bring education everywhere it's not that all the students will be 100% at least they should have the right to express themselves with their own way which they are familiar with and which they are good at so that's why the mother language uh, mother tongue is much uh, recognized because their father and mother would be teaching it you know they are the first teachers for any child which is born on the earth and when we consider things like that uh, even if it's a mother tongue do you think that everybody will be understand able to understand uh, scientific terminologies or a great poetry work well, not so right it should be on simple those are the kinds of magic things which uh, uh, sipa itna did and i will uh, talk about the 10 rules he followed in, in his magazines and uh, newspapers which made uh, it we have the maximum reach for anyone who is doing journalism or something please share this video these uh, rules will help them a lot he asked the, uh, he asked that writing should be on simple sentences and maximum 5 to 6 words in a sentence and um, the small sentence and also simple and common words should be used then he also want to use only understandable words not a highly technical words okay so let the common man understand that's the kind of approach he had and also remove unwanted words there will be lot of unwanted words added to increase the number of pages those kinds of things he never does and uh, use words Uh, which attract the readers the word which he give should also attract the reader then only he will read it fully otherwise he will do something else and uh, also write as you directly speak to the re reader that's a kind of a concept he followed so that kind of writing skill he developed on all the people called the editors and everyone who worked for him and then he said that our uh, when a person reads our passages their mind should imagine it as a video so the imagination skill should be uh, brought in with our words that's a kind of uh, uh, proper presentation we have to give then where should be also of good quality and the words should be on close to the mindset of the people then also explain the news to the readers and we should don't explain and if you just uh, give it as a news it won't be interesting for uh, them to read right and also apart from that he had a great uh, was very particular about giving the headlines headlines sub headline then passage so when the headlines will be on bold letter then a little bit bold on uh, subheading then passage like that the content uh, creation and the way they give everything it's something which he did a very research and uh, formulated these rules which lead this uh, which lead to the great revolution in the field of uh, daily newspapers in tamil nadu and that's the main reason for the success of dinathandi as well and apart from that now it has come as a tv tandi tv and they have hello fm in radio sector so like that and also he did a lot of contribution for the game kabaddi and when you think about uh, this kind of uh, contributions or uh, like uh, as i told you this is something which a person does after understanding the common man everything should be given to the common man that's all citizens in the country so that's a kind of a approach he had as a politician so that's uh, something which uh, is the 
which gives the liberty in language to all the people. So that liberty is sometimes misunderstood that uh, people are uh, having a bad mindset, but it's not that we want only Tamil, we will be like we were against reading uh, other languages or learning other languages. He himself learned other languages. So that's the beauty. And also many of them who emphasize on mother tongue influence or uh, lit had, a, had a very high level of literature knowledge in other languages as well. The only reason they say is, the common man should be able to understand. So that's something I like to mainly mention on this video because as I mainly create videos on English which will be of reach to global audience, that I thought they shouldn't have a bad opinion or a bad idea about the people who protest for their language rights. Uh, the reason is they do it for because it's a right, we always talk about right to speech, right to express ourselves. But if we are given the right of speech and if we are unable to express ourselves or if we are unable to understand what the other person expresses, what the government expresses towards because of a language barrier, uh, definitely there is no point of, uh, you know, having a language itself, right? Everything is for the well-being of man. That's the kind of understanding I like, I have and I want, uh, I think that's the best thing uh, to share with you all. So instead of... Uh, you know, hating people in the name of language, religion, caste and so many things, so many barriers. If we look at it like we are all here to do a betterment to the others, uh, we will be very successful people. And so our, uh, so that's a kind of recognition. Our followers will also have it. And uh, likewise, uh, Dr. Sivindya Aitana lived uh, as per his father's wish and he, is contrib he has contributed to a lot of colleges in that area and Sipa Aitana has contributed through his newspaper to lots and lots of people direct reach by increasing their knowledge as they all understood what the common man is. So that's something I thought of uh, sharing with you and uh, it's time to close this video and this video also will be released in Tamil. If you are a Tamilian just wait for one or two days I will release this in Tamil as well. And that link will be soon be added to this description. As uh, this is about uh, Tamilian's father, we have to definitely produce this video in Tamil as well. And I feel very comfortable personally when I speak in Tamil as I am from a Tamil background. I am also from the Tutugudi and I studied in an English medium school. Uh, I was, I thought I was so great in English and I like to say this as well. And when I got a call center job, I was speaking, I was giving a speech and my trainer was writing down everything. I thought, oh, my English knowledge is so, and my subject knowledge is so good. My trainer is writing down everything. And then he told the paper and said, how they selected you or committed these many mistakes. I'm noting down your mistakes in English grammar. So that's a kind of uh, realization. That's when I realized that I am speaking uh, English without proper grammar. But still start speaking. Uh, spoken English is broken English. <laughs> this is something uh, which is accepted universally. And India is the second largest English speaking country. Only next to United States of America, not even United Kingdom. Because of the great population we have. And another one great pride is... Uh, uh, like, uh, it's I don't encourage you to speak wrong. But still learn the grammar books. Learn properly. Read good books and improve your English language skills as well. We can simplify the language. That's our right. But we... If we uh, disturb the language grammar, then again we will be complicating the ability for others to understand what we speak. So that's another one thing. Mm. So that's the kind of uh, sharing I thought of having with you. So in the Tam mother tongue video, that's my mother tongue, Tamil video, I'll be maybe speaking more or maybe speaking more clear. So that's something uh, which is a message, uh, which is a kind of a practical understanding I got after. Uh, even now I support English education because I feel that's simple. I feel that will give me a global recognition, a global reach. I work for a call center and I manage calls, but still uh, now I'm not in a call taking position. I am in a kind of a different role. Uh, so, but still I have to take calls at times. Uh, and earlier also when I was initial stages, I suffered after that calling was not a big deal for me because they mostly look for uh, simple English as well as uh, and, uh, there are a lot of methods where we speak slowly and uh, fluently without mother tongue influence 
that mainly makes the deal on communicating with the people abroad because there also you will get a lot of calls from migrants as far as my consult my call center experience is concerned if i took calls i would be seeing i would be maybe speaking with people migrating from china from africa different different parts of the world <laughs> so but still most of them will be from the native place and i was able to manage till this date so don't get scared about language but when you present it present it simple in a simple way okay uh, it's time to wind up this video i have also given my own story a lot uh, i was much excited about uh, making this video the reason is uh, a person who was born on my place uh, like uh, see i see paditna or uh, shivnada or uh, chinaya uh, sivandi aditna have done great jobs and have achieved great heights I, so i am speaking a little bit over so i have to wind up the video uh, press the subscribe icon give a thumbs up as an appreciation and share your valuable comments below uh then share this video with all the people who you know who are in journalism who wants to develop their language or whom you feel they have to improve their communication skill all those even though i am not a good communicator i have given you the best method and also we have uh, talked about the why language is uh, uh, is important and why we are emphasizing on mother tongue should be allowed as a official language a language of communication a language which of display boards that's also a main thing if a person is unable to know read out a road name in his own mother tongue what's the respect we give to him uh, who was born on that state where that that language is widely spoken but still he cannot find out the street name on that on his own mother tongue he suffers to read uh, to be honest when i was preparing for this video i had difficulty on uh, reading uh, uh, dr shivanada's uh, mother name so what i did was i searched for in tamil shivanada's uh, family background after that i came sure okay this is her name so that's a kind of difficulty everyone will have so uh, a great person mr sipaidan did lot of work for uh, uh, recognizing of recognition of tamil in tamil nadu itself that's main thing because we don't ask uh, everyone in other we, they can learn our language they can get our literature but we cannot force that language into their place as well because they are different people they have different uh, knowledge their parents have taught them a different language to be spoken and give them that right and it's time to say bye to jojanji signing off from you bye